In the wake of protests across the state, the Washington State Patrol is demonstrating the way troopers are training to handle them. And Cairo 7 South Sound reporter Shelby Miller also spoke with the chief just a week after he apologized for disturbing comments made by one of his troopers. State Patrol's rapid deployment team is geared up and they are ready to go. These days, these troopers are the busiest they've been in 20 years. Donning helmets with face shields, bulletproof vests, shin protectors, and batons. This equipment is what Washington State Patrol calls turtle gear, and it's what troopers wear each time they're sent in to keep an eye on crowds. Most of the time, there's no danger. But when there is danger, we have to have the same gear, and we have to wear it all the time because we never know when that danger will occur. The Rapid Deployment Force has been busy lately, covering peaceful protests that turned to riots in cities like Seattle. In the past week, we've seen fireworks, like the mortars fired at us, uh, frozen water bottles, which was a new one for me. They're well-trained and well-equipped to respond to everything from fires to floods and violence. WSP wanted to showcase the team's tactics to help with community trust and transparency. Well, our job is to protect those folks who come there to peacefully protest. Chief John Batiste spoke about the policing he's witnessed across the nation. Black lives do matter. And as a black man, uh, as a proud father and a grandfather, uh, I'm, I'm very concerned about when I see incidents that occur with uh, George Floyd. That could have been me. He then addressed this viral video. <laughs> It surfaced last week and appears to show a state trooper say, don't kill them, but hit them hard. I issued a, a public apology. I stand by that apology. I felt the remarks that were made were non-representative of us as an agency in terms of our expectations of each other. Right now, Chief Batiste says the agency is focusing on not just protecting people, but also listening to them to build trust and break down barriers. WSP says they are expecting protests in Olympia again this weekend. In fact, there's a small group that's gathered on the Capitol steps now. The Rapid Deployment Force says they'll be ready if needed. Reporting in Olympia, Shelby Miller, Cairo 7 News.